Hello there, welcome to the channel. My name is James and here at 20th and 21st Movies, we are about all things cinema. Well, we are at the end of November as of the time I'm recording this video. We're about to head into December. And as has been the case and custom with this channel over the last several months, I'd like to come on here and share a few thoughts of what we have coming on this channel, 20th and 21st Movies, for the upcoming month. In this case, what is coming up on this channel for December 2022. Of course, the month of November, we were very heavy on the Criterion Collection content, specifically around the Criterion Collection, 50% off sale at Barnes & Noble and online at Barnes & Noble and Amazon. So we had a lot of content centered around that, providing reviews and opinions on these different titles to help give you an informed opinion as you're making decisions on what titles to pick up as part of the sale, recommendations, videos, you name it. So a lot of content in November was focused on that. Now that we're about to wrap up this sale and head into December, I wanted to share with you what are we planning on this channel for this upcoming month. Of course, December continues the most wonderful time of the year, that 62 days from November the 1st through January 1st, New, New Year's Day, that I call the most wonderful time of the year. Andy Williams sang of it as well. He said it's the most wonderful time of the year. So I definitely am not going to argue with Andy Williams. I agree with him. And as we look at December, you know, what do we have planned? So we have a, a couple of things planned, a lot of holiday themed content, as well as coverage of some physical media releases of note, including Arrow Video has a title on the way to me right now. It's their, four, their latest 4K limited edition for Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Now, I am really excited about this title. A lot of people were very excited when Arrow announced this title a few months ago, and it is currently, they, they're shipping them out. I've heard other people mention that theirs is on the way as well. I'm expecting mine in the next few days, and when I get it, I plan on doing an unboxing and plan to do a review of that title on this channel. As many of you have heard, I've really been enjoying Arrow Video's 4K limited editions all year long. I mean, starting back in March of this year when I first got the An American Werewolf in London set, I got the Robocop, I got Wild Things, Tenebrae. I have been loving Arrow Video's 4K limited edition releases. They do a great job with the audio, with the video and audio presentation, with the packaging, with the book and the poster and with the whole you know, box that they put the uh, materials in and the, and the photo cards that are in each release, they do a top-notch job, as well as the supplements on each of these editions. So I'm really looking forward to Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. I've never seen the movie. It'll be a first-time watch for me. So I'm really looking forward to that. So I'll provide coverage of that in early December. So be on the lookout for that. Also, the Infernal Affairs Trilogy. The November release from the Criterion Collection, that set is a set that I'm very excited to dive into and I plan on doing a review and providing some coverage on that title in the month of December. So I'll probably do either a live review or just a pre-recorded review where I'm going to talk about what I think of those films and what I think about that release as a whole. So definitely look for some coverage on the Infernal Affairs Trilogy release from the Criterion Collection in the month of December. Again, these are the films that inspired the uh, 2006, I think, Martin Scorsese film, The Departed. This is the film that won, I think it won Best Picture and it won Best Director for Martin Scorsese, for Mr. Marty. So look for Infernal Affairs trilogy coverage in the month of December, as well as we'll cover Criterion Collection's announcement of their March 2023 titles. Of course, at that point, around the middle of December, we'll have a pretty clear picture of what Criterion's first quarter lineup is going to be. We've already heard about their January releases and February, February, February releases. In the middle of December, we'll hear about their March releases, so we'll have a good first quarter slate. So we'll be able to talk about March and kind of give you our take on the first quarter as a whole of what's coming up in Criterion, the first part of 2023. So that's exciting. Be on the lookout for that around the middle of December. And then, of course, we're going to talk about several Christmas movies in the month of December. So there's a lot of holiday movies that I love, but I definitely plan on coming on here and talking about some of those holiday movies such as National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation of Charlie Brown Christmas, 
best man holiday and other holiday themed titles. So definitely look for some good holiday content coming soon in the month of December. Also, I plan to do something a little bit different in the month of December around a cooking demonstration or a cooking demo of a holiday dessert. So more to come on that. And then toward the end of December, I plan to do a couple of top 10 videos. Of course, as you get ready to wrap up the year, everybody's got their top 10 list, their top five lists, their top favorite releases of the year, top 10 movies of the year, top 10 whatever. In my case, I'm gonna do two top 10 lists. The first is gonna be my top 10 favorite Criterion Collection releases of the year. So these will be my personal favorite Criterion Collection releases. I'll provide that top 10 in that video. And based upon my review of a recent, of, of the recent 4K releases that came out in the, at the end of November, I think you have an idea of a couple of titles that have a pretty good chance of being on that list. So I'll give you my top 10 favorite Criterion Collection releases of 2022. And then the second top 10 list that I'll give is my favorite overall physical media releases of the year. So that will include Criterion, Arrow Video, Kino Lorber, studio releases. It'll include everything. These will be my personal favorite top 10 physical media releases of the year. So I'll do a Criterion specific top 10, and then I'll do an overall top 10 physical media releases of the year. So very much looking forward to that. And I'm really going to be looking forward to hearing your thoughts and your comments and your ideas of what your favorites are or have been for the year. So these top 10 lists are always fun to do because it's always interesting to hear different people's thoughts on, you know, what they would include in their top 10 list. So there you have it. Those are the things that I sort of have in my mind that I'm gonna cover in the month of December. And of course, as, the, as we get into the month, other things will pop up and I'll show up on here and just share with you what's on my mind on a variety of other topics. But we're definitely looking to, to do a lot of holiday themed activities for the channel for the month of December. But let me know in the comment section below what you think. Let me know what your suggestions or your comments are. And let me know as we've wrapped up this November Barnes & Noble sale, let me know the titles that you are most happy that you picked up in the month of November. And let me know what you're most looking forward to picking up in the month of December as we get ready to wrap up this year. Let me know that in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll look forward to seeing you next time at the movies. Peace.